I am so impressed with this album. The Greatest Show Tunes is one that came to my attention because I went looking for compilation albums of musicals and um, film soundtracks to see if I could be introduced to some new songs that I'd maybe never heard of that would inspire me to go on and watch those films. And when I found The Greatest Show Tunes, I started streaming it. It's on Amazon Music. And I got to the end of the first disc, or what is technically the first disc, and it went on to disc two. And I didn't know there was a disc two, and I most certainly did not know there was a disc three. Very impressed with the selection on here. So ordinarily, I'd go through each track in a little bit of detail and share some thoughts. But there are so many here that I'm just going to kind of whiz through them, but highlight some favourites so you can get a flavour of what's available. And also, if you care, find out which ones I personally like. And what's particularly amazing is that some of the artists are not necessarily who you'd expect, which really, really impressed me. I have to say I'm not um, musical in any technical sense. I don't have the vocabulary to pick apart songs and talk about the composition and the use of certain instruments. So it is purely from a musical fangirl perspective that I am coming to this. So it starts off um, disc one. We Will Rock You. I have never seen the musical, but the song is obviously great. Mamma Mia, sung by Mel Meryl Streep. And the Grease Megamix, which I kind of like. I'm not the biggest fan of Grease, but I have to admit the music is pretty good. Jason Donovan and the cast of Rocky Horror sing Time Warp. And then number five, my favourite, Defying Gravity by Bo Derm Dermot. Bo Dermot was one of the finalists on Britain's Got Talent in 2016. I think she was about 13 at the time. Um, and she sang Defying Gravity from Wicked and straight away I fell in love with her voice. So to have her on this album really made me very happy. Michael Ball sings You Can't Stop the Beat and then we have a Motown the Musical um, mashup. I haven't seen it, not quite encouraged to see it, but I did really enjoy that. Um, then we have the I'm a Believer Recording from Shrek the Musical, brilliant musical. Born to Boogie from Billy Elliot, not a fan of Billy Elliot. Could have something to do with the fact I grew up in the Northeast. Any Dream Will Do, uh, another Jason Donovan. Cabaret, and then rat -a tat from Funny Girl. I had never considered seeing Funny Girl, but I'm kind of really intrigued to see what it's all about. Uh, Two Down Heart, Ella Fitzgerald, and then Jim, James Randolph sings... Luck Be A Lady, which is a song that I absolutely adore. Uh, Guys and Dolls is not one of my favourite musicals. I've never seen it on stage. I have seen the film. The actual narrative is interesting, but the songs are much better. 42nd Street, Go Into Your Dance, Light at the End of the Tunnel, Gregory Porter, uh, Take Me to Heaven from Sister Act, and then Martin Horsey and Keith Hampshire sing Consider Yourself from Oliver, which was pretty brilliant. But not quite as brilliant as Revolting Children. This is the original London cast of Matilda. I have seen that. I absolutely adore it. I love the soundtrack for it. And Revolting Children is definitely probably my second favourite song after Naughty, I think. Um, we also have So You Wanna Be A Boxer from Bugsy Malone. Love the song. Don't really like the musical. Oh, What a Beautiful Morning, sung by Hugh Jackman from Oklahoma. Uh, Hugh Jackman is not from Oklahoma. Well, he might be. I don't know where he's from. Then we have quite a few Martin McCutcheons here with Wouldn't It Be Loverly from My Fair Lady, which is a song I love, but not really the same as the film version. Getting to Know You, beautiful recording by Gertrude Lawrence. And then, really excitingly for me, we have My Favourite Things from The Sound of Music. And this one is sung by Connie Fisher. Connie Fisher won the, whatever the, con was it there something about Maria? Is that what it was called? The, the Sound of Music Talent Hunt, one of Andrew Lloyd Webber's shows from, oh gosh, 15 years ago maybe, maybe even older than that. And I wanted her to win from the beginning. And that is the first time I've wanted somebody to win a competition or a you know a reality show and they've actually won. So she'll always hold a special place in my heart just because, well, just because of that. Um, the cast was 2006, so I, su I assume it would have been 
about four, 15 years ago for that, maybe 16 for the TV show. Um, Funny Girl Again, Don't Run On My Parade, and Gene Kelly singing Almost Like Being In Love from the terrible, terrible film Brigadoon. I'm speaking as a Scot, it's appalling. The trolley Song, sung by Judy Garland, absolutely love that song. And then, interestingly, Andre Roo and Marussia Lowers, I apologise if I've mispronounced that, sing Supercolorfragilisticexpialidocious, not my favourite rendition, but nobody will ever beat Susie Strahlin. Nobody at all. Jason Donovan, Dreamboats and Petticoats. Um, Beverly Knight, as part of Memphis, sings Love Will Stand When All Else Fails. And then we have the cast of Jesus Christ Superstar singing Hosanna. The next one, number 12 on what is technically the second disc. So excited. This is Starlight Express. And I... It's such an underrated musical. Now it's very, you know, it's very popular, very well received, but among non-musical addicts, it's not well known. At least not with the people I talk to. And I just love that song. This one's sung by Greg Ellis. Gene Kelly sings Singing in the Rain, and then um, the Miss Saigon cast sing I Still Believe. I've never seen Miss Saigon. And I listened to this and thought, maybe I should check it out. So if you recommend Miss Saigon and think it's something that would be worth maybe prioritising trying to see, do let me know. I think it's one that I want to check out. Alfie Bow sings Bring Him Home from Les Mis. Then Barbara Hendricks sings Summertime. Maria from West Side Story. And then we have The Music of the Night. And then One Night Only from Dream Girls. I've never seen Dream Girls. I don't know if I want to. Would I enjoy it? I kind of feel like I probably would, but I'm not 100% sure. Julie Andrews sings The Sound of Music from The Sound of Music, which I love. Um, I also have to say, I think there's a pretty decent balance here between stage musicals and film musicals. That's something else that I was really impressed with. Uh, I could have danced all night, My Fair Lady, Marty McCutcheon. Uh, love Changes Everything, sung by Michael Ball. What a voice. This is from Aspects of Love, which I know nothing about. So that's one that I'm kind of inspired to kind of dig into a little bit more and see what I can find out. But certainly my knowledge there is very, very lacking. Memory, sung by Elaine Page. Obviously beautiful voice. Casey Levi or Levi sings With You from Ghost the Musical. I have never been interested in seeing Ghost the Musical. The film hold a special place in my heart because my mother used to have the VHS and I remember her playing it quite a few times when I was a child and I was traumatised by the train scene uh, or the subway scene so, but I've never kind of been drawn to the musical but listening to that, maybe I should Come What May from Moulin Rouge with Arthur Bill and the fabulous Carrie Ellis, I wish there was a bit more Carrie Ellis on here, that is something I would have you know, asked for if I had a chance to um, to feed that information back. Then we move on to another Les Mis. This time we have Who Am I, Hugh Jackman. This is obviously the film version. And for me, because the film version is what I fell in love with, nobody can sing those songs better. Except from Jason Manford singing Stars, but I'll discuss that in a separate, um, in a separate discussion. The Oliver cast from 2009 sing As Long As He Needs Me, which is just absolutely stunning and then we have if you as if we never said goodbye from sunset boulevard and then you'll never walk alone from carousel i was in an amdram production of carousel so i can't stand it anymore but that's actually one of my all-time favorite songs all through the night from anything goes with john barrowman and then the last night of the world from the original cast recording of 1989 I feel like that 1989 might be the oldest contribution on this. I'm not 100% sure. The beautiful Lana Del Rey sings Young and Beautiful. And then Sarah Brightman and Steve Barton sing Think of Me, which is a ridiculously beautiful song. And then number 15 on what is the third disc is actually Not While I'm Around from my all-time favourite film and my all-time favourite musical. Sweeney Todd, sung by Michael Ball, a fully grown man. Um, 
Now, it does need to be said, of course, that Toby in the stage version is not necessarily a child. He is an adult male with um, some mental health complications or developmental complications. But for me, he will always be a young boy because the film, Burton's film, is just perfect and that's my blueprint. Elaine Page and Barbara Dixon sing I Know Him So Well. Fabulous combination. And then I Dreamed a Dream from Les Mis with Anne Hathaway. Again, the film version, absolutely beautiful. Back to Sarah Brightman, we have Don't Cry For Me Argentina, obviously from Evita. And then another dream team. We have another dream team to end the album with Michael Ball and Alfie Ball singing Somewhere from West Side Story. I have to say, I do not like West Side Story. I have seen it on stage. I do not care for it. But Somewhere is such a beautiful song. And to conclude a pretty fantastic album with a beautiful rendition by two of the strongest voices ever. I can't complain. Gorgeous album from start to finish. Fantastic mix. Great selection of songs and artists and musicals. Great mix of stage and film. I, I don't know. Uh, has this got the length of time listed somewhere i'm just seeing if i can see how long the actual entire how long it would take to listen to it all in one go because i didn't do that um there's no way i could just sit still for three cds my attention wanders um no i don't know but let's say just shy of 60 tracks three minutes each you're getting about well just maybe under three hours of music considering the album the cd is only 3.99 the mp3 is 8 99 and obviously streaming unlimited is free as part of uh, amazon music it's fabulous it's absolutely perfect 